Now let us start the second part of the module 5. The topic is earth dams. These are the area which I would like to cover in this part. What is earth dam? Classification of earth dams, causes of failure of earth dams and criteria for safe design of earth dam. What is an earth dam? It is an earth fill, also called as earth dam or an embankment dam, which is built by compacting successive layers of earth using the most impervious materials to form a core and placing permeable substances on the upstream and downstream sides. Again, it is also defined as a dam which is built of soil materials like sand, loam, clay and so on with a trapezoidal or nearly trapezoidal cross section. Once we have seen the arch dams and earth dams or arch dams and gravity dams. An advantage of earth dam is that it can be adapted to a weak foundation provided proper consideration is given to thorough foundation exploration, testing and design. Earth dams are classified based on the method of construction. One, rolled fill dam and two, hydraulic fill dam. Rolled fill dam. In this type of the dam, suitable materials are transported to the site and is spread over the area, sprinkled with the water and then compacted and bonded in successive layers. That means we are transporting the materials to the site. It will be mixed with the water and then it is compacted and bonded, successive layers, layer by layer. That is what is being by it. Second is hydraulic fill dam. In this case, the materials which are excavated are transported and placed by hydraulic methods and see that no compaction is done in this case. Rolled fill dams can be subdivided into two, in subdivided into one, homogeneous embankment type zoned embankment type, diaphragm embankment type. This is a modified form of homogeneous embankment type earth dam because in this case a drainage filter is provided at the top that is on the downstream side. In the normal section that means which is not a modified one then in that case the drainage filter will not be there. That makes the difference between this modified and mo not modified uh, em homogeneous embankment type earth dams. The drainage filter which is provided in that will control the seepage. Homogeneous type earth dam is composed of single type of material that is why it is called as homogeneous. They are used only for 
low to moderate heights. Impervious or semi-impervious soils are used. Sound embankment type. This is the cross section of the sound embankment type earth dam. Here the dam is made up of more than one material. Central impervious core is flanked by zones of considerably more pervious material. A suitable drainage system is provided at the downstream side. Outer shells are made of pervious materials. It gives stability to the central core. So we'll just go back. So this is one this medium green soil. And this is a clay. And the gravel is the ram. This is the upstream side, the downstream side. And you can have a filter here. This is the medium gravel side. And this is the central core. Diaphragm embankment type. This is a cross section of the diaphragm type earth dam. This is a modification over the homogeneous type. Bulk of the embankment is constructed of pervious materials and a thin diaphragm made of impervious material like cement concrete, bituminous concrete is provided at the center of the section as central core or at the upstream to check the seepage. In this figure, it is the central core is provided at the center, not at the upstream side. So that's what is called a central core. If the horizontal thickness of the diaphragm at any elevation is less than 10 meter or height of embankment at any elevation, dam is diaphragm type. Otherwise, it is known as a sound embankment type. After seeing the classification of earth dams, let us look what are the causes of the failure of the earth dams. The literature em emphasizes that about 40% of the failure is due by hydraulic failure. 30% it is due to the seepage and uh, the remaining 30% is due to the structural failure. What are the different types of failure and hydraulic failure? One is overtopping, second is wave erosion, third is tow erosion, and fourth is gulling. What is overtopping? If the design flood is underestimated or if the spillway is of insufficient capacity, the dam can be overtopped. Other reasons are insufficient freeboard or settlement of foundation or embankment. The figures of this overtopping failure will be shown at the end. Wave erosion. Effect of wave is to notch out earth from upstream slope in absence of proper slope protection. Tow erosion may occur due to erosion due to tailwater and erosion due to cross currents. It can be avoided by providing thick riprap on downstream slope up to height above the tailwater. Gulling, downstream slope may fail due to gullies formed by heavy down power. To control this failure, proper berms, turfing and good drainage system can be provided on downstream set. Seepage failure, two types of failure. One is piping. Water seeping through the earth dam may dislodge particles from the soil structure. It may lift portion of the soil mass causing sand boiling. Internal erosion of the soil mass progressing backwards, reducing the soil strength resulting in a pipe-like formation below the structure. In this pipe-like formation, the structure will subside into the and failure occurs. Sloughing, it's a failure due to progressive raveling is almost same as 
piping. And this is the failure due to topping, what he called, which you mentioned about overtopping. See that body of the dam after failure. This much a portion will be taken away because of the various reasons mentioned earlier. And this is a failure due to the piping. This is a pipe like formation forming under the base of the structure. So this is means when the seepage force is very high, the soil particles here will be lifted up. As the force is concentrated on this dislodged area, more what more soil will be removed from here and this process will continue towards the downstream side and a pipeline formation is taking place. This is that water failure due to piping. And this is the failure due to seepage. This seepage is across the face of the dam. Seepage in this case is below the base. Here is seepage across the dam body itself. So seepage can take place anywhere. Structural failures, upstream and downstream slope slide, sudden drawdown, faulty construction and improper maintenance, foundation slide, failure by spreading, failure by earthquake, slope protection failure, damage due to soluble minerals. These are different types of structural failure. The detailed discussion on all this is beyond this presentation. Now let us look into the last part of this. That is a criteria for safe design of earth dam. One, sufficient spillway capacity and freeboard are provided so that there is no danger for overtopping of the dam. Second, seepage flow through the embankment is controlled so that the amount lost does not interfere with the objective of the dam and there is no erosion or sloughing of soil. Seepage line should remain well within the downstream face of the dam and portion of the dam on downstream side of the impervious core should be well drained. Fourth, apply pressure due to the seepage underneath is not enough to cause piping. And next, slopes of the embankment are stable under all conditions of reservoir operation, including rapid drawdown and during steady seepage under full reservoir. Next, the stresses imposed by the embankment upon the foundation are less than the strength of the material in the foundation with a suitable factor safety. The upstream face is properly protected by means of stone pitching, riprap and revetment against erosion caused by wave action and downstream face is protected against the action of the rain so that a gulling can, a gullist can be prevented. And last, a dam as a wall should be earthquake resistance. And this is the a general view of earth dam. You see that? This is upstream side where the water is there. Downstream side it is protected. Here it is grass are being used to protect it. It can be used anything. This yes, upstream side also can be protected. So this is all what you have to see in earth dam.